Hi, Dr. Drew. So I'm a recovering drug addict. I was addicted to stimulants, Adderall and cocaine. And I was addicted for about eight or nine years. And over those times, I had a lot of, like, super, super high-intensity drug-fueled, like, sex and masturbation sessions. And now I've been off of it for about a year about a year since the last time I really hit it hard. And I noticed now I have almost no sex drive at all. And I'm wondering if I, like, I, is it possible that I, like, blew out my sex drive? Like, the way you can blow out a car engine by, like, running it too hard? Did I, like, blow my sex drive out by doing drugs? We got it, dude. We got it. Masturbating too we, much? We got it, man. I need man. help. Tell me what to do. All right. Bye, Hitler. See, they call you Hitler a lot. Okay, anyways, I'd love to hear what you have to say about that. <laughs> so he's a he's a he's a one bagger, right? Not two bags for him. One yeah, bag, yeah, maybe you'd really I, like him. Maybe not even a one bag. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're picky. No, a, he, he's. It'd be a deal breaker just from that voicemail. So, <laughs> so, um, so it's funny with stimulants. Uh, people go one way or the other. The, the stimulant itself either shuts them down or jacks them up sexually they either go whoop up or they go down like he is now when they're on the stimulants okay and for the people that go way up it's often they're getting an opioid effect from the drug too it's mm-hmm. to some extent some sort of endorphin effect i've heard of opioids yes there you okay. go uh <laughs> and the problem with long periods of exposure to that uh, that sort of pleasure system is you can kind of burn it out and what I see, so he blew he's, it. He, he's right, and it's sort of mm. oh. so with stimulants. So there may be a solution, though. With with opiate addicts, pure opiate addicts, they end up starting to do asphyxiation to try to get the pleasure back from from sex, choking themselves, or autoerotic. You know, they take a belt and they lean against <gasps> it. That's how a lot of people die. A lot, and some of them were high profile people that no one's talking about. It's a common thing. You don't know this. Autoerotic asphyxiation. No. Well, I mean, yeah, there they was the, the Dave Carradine, right? Dave Carradine did it. Yeah. But there, there's some that. But that was the only guy that ever did it. Well, oh, is no, that no. is the that the guy, guy from <laughs> any, the anybody? Only... Anytime somebody has a history of opiate addiction, and you hear they died, maybe they committed suicide, but there's no letter. Think this. Okay. Just, just I don't. Just saying. Just think it. So our caller needs to be very careful. Very what his next careful. Steps are. That's okay. right. That he doesn't make efforts to try to bring it back by okay. overstimulating himself because that doesn't help things. Yeah. But with stimulant addicts, sometimes you can restore things with certain antidepressants, essentially. Oh. You can get the system sort of activated again. So I got a question. Yeah. What can he just completely reset with just like not watching porn, not masturbating for like, I, I don't know, know, a full year? How long so has he like, been? How long has he? No. How long has he been off uh, amphetamine? I didn't hear that. Stimulants. Mm. It was about a, a year. A year. He he may get better over a couple more years. Sometimes that happens. So, so give it some time. He can't jerk off for a, another no, couple no, years. No, it's not about that. It's he he should actually work himself a little bit. Try to get it, things going again. Uh, I'm I don't don't give up with normal porn. With normal stimuli, yes, normal porn, it, normal behavior. Don't don't. Can he not like perform with a woman? He, he would have trouble. Okay. He would have trouble, and, and, but I'm I, and I'm not saying you have to do it by yourself. I mean, doing it with a female partner probably ideal, probably better. But you have to have a partner who understands that you're struggling right now, and you may need which to might, use some erectile. Which medication. might be embarrassing to tell the girl. Might be. It's turned Chase off. Evidently, she I is not into guys like this. But uh, but she's saying <laughs> what she's saying is if it's a girl, do not admit you've been an opiate addict or a meth <laughs> addict because she will reject your ass. Chase only likes hard dicks. <laughs> well, not just hard mm-hmm. dicks. It's like. No, no addictions here. <laughs> mm, ah. Or I saw you clutching or, your pearls. Or I'd want them to be honest about it. Yeah, of course. At the beginning of the so relationship, so I knew it was going it's, on. It's not date one material, right? No. Which date? Which one? And if it's date one material, then deal break. I know. So what yeah. date do you sort of tell somebody all this stuff? That's we've been married for three years. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. Until it's too late. <laughs> We're in it. Yeah. Yeah. So, we so, have kids. It's so tough. Really yeah, entrap yeah. the young ladies before you tell them the bad news. What yes. you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. So.